everybody hello everybody as i mentioned in my last vlog i was gonna film a little haul for you guys so i have a bunch of stuff from Aritzia, Anthropology, Senez the Label, Cezanne, another Australian brand, some shop op stuff, and then some sunglasses as well. So there's quite a bit of stuff. Don't wanna waste any time. Let's get right into it. All right, so a lot of these items, I still have like tags on, um, cause I just got them in the mail. This one is from Sunday's a Label. They're an Australian brand. I love them because their prices are a bit more affordable. Australian brands tend to be more on the pricier side. I love this, it's like a little pinstripe. The nice thing is that you can wear the shirt this way or you could wear it like without the opening in the back. You could wear it this in the front. So then it just becomes like a little V-neck tank or spaghetti strap and then these drawstring pants that fit the belly right now um, but I love this set together it's like a linen feel I got a size small in the pants just because you know my belly's growing otherwise I would have just gotten a size extra small the nice thing about this brand is that I believe they do carry extra extra small as well but I just stuck with an extra small in the top all right next dress is also by Sunday's the label I love this silhouette for like, you know, my bum. Just these looser dresses just kind of are easy. I am probably not gonna buy any maternity stuff, just go for more things like this, more stretchy just dresses and things like that. It does have like a tie in the back, which I'm just too lazy to tie, but this one I did get in a size extra small. All right, so here is the belly. So this dress is also by Sunday's The Label. However, I wish I got a size up. This one's an extra small. It is a bit short, so especially like in the back, I'm not too comfortable <laughs> wearing it out, but I really love like this type of tennis silhouette. It's just easy um, if you wanted to like try your hardest not to put on some active wear. This is kind of like a nice alternative because it kind of Seems a little bit like active wear, but it's a little more dressy and cute. This is what it looks like close up. Okay, let's go into the anthropo anthropology. Let's go into the anthropology items. So these shorts are from anthropology. So they're almost like a pajama short. They're lacy at the hem. And then I paired it with this cardigan. This cardigan is actually a new one that I got from Aritzia, but I kind of like this silhouette of cardigan paired with like really dainty shorts like this so there's this girl that I follow we follow each other um, we're kind of friends online um, Brittany Sansone I love her style um, it's so it's kind of like very effortless and casual at the same time but it's just also like just so cute and so she kind of inspired me to put this together and start wearing it I'm kind of just going with whatever works with the bump because I'm not finding a lot of not sure what was wrong with 2024's fashion i'm not like in love with a lot of stuff i'm just kind of especially with the bump i'm not i'm just kind of going with what works and stuff like this works i think i sized up to like a medium or a small in these shorts and there is still room for me to grow but you could definitely even add like a cute little baseball cap to make it more i don't know not so girly i guess and then i'll just wear it like this with these mesh belly flats which i actually got on amazon and let me tell you they look and feel, I don't know actually if they feel, because I never tried the Alaya ones, but they look really great for the price. And I feel like the quality is really great for the price as well. So everything I share with you guys will obviously be linked. So I got these shorts. It's actually the first time ever I shopped at anthropology.com. And tell me why there were like three items missing in one of my orders. And I was like, what? I mean, that's kind of like a lot to just like forget to put in the package you know so anyway we are going to be missing three items basically it's just another pair of these shorts but in like striped blue and then a pair of pajama pants that you could also wear out all right and then keeping on the theme of those like boxer shorts i ended up getting this one i mean it looks kind of like a diaper but i love that it's already pre-folded for you that's kind of short on the side not gonna lie do i care not really maybe maybe once i step out i'll care <laughs> but right now i don't and i really like it so you know just with i would change up the cardigan i would probably just wear like a striped cardigan with it to add just like more print since this is white and maybe like my red 
Ralph Lauren hat, which let me go grab. So something like this is kind of what I'm talking about. It's maybe ballet flats or even some sneakers or flip flops, whatever sandals you want. I would just do like a striped red and white cardigan instead, but I think this is a cute outfit. And again, for me, I sized up on the shorts. I got a size small because I'm pregnant, but I feel like stick to whatever size you are. All right, next up, when I saw this dress on Anthropology, I was like, I need that dress because it would just pair well with my bump. Like no frills, super easy, really cute. I actually really love the collar on this and like the print, I'm not even a print person. I'm not even like this type of dress type of person, <laughs> but I thought it was gonna go really well with these flats. I actually wore this yesterday in Presley's orientation at her school. So it's just so cute. It has like these gold flower buttons and this like Peter Pan collar. I got an extra, extra small in this one. All right, let's get into all of the Aritzia items that I got. So I got this oversized sweatshirt. I have the sweatpants in this color. I have a cropped sweatshirt in this color. I just needed this and I've already had these, the matching sweatshorts that are also from Aritzia. I just love all their sweats. They fit me great and they're super soft, super soft. The inside is not like the towel. What is the correct term for that? I can't really think much today, but this one in the inside, it's more fleece. So it's super, super soft. I got a medium in this one because I really wanted it to be oversized so I could wear it into my growing belly again. And then for this, I got a size small. So I love that. I really want the white version as well. Since we're here, and since I probably wear a hat with this outfit, I already showed you that I got the polo red hat. I also got the polo navy blue. And then I also, from a long time ago, I have the white version and also the tan version, but I just really like the little horse without it saying like so many words or just having the hugest logo. I just like that really simple logo. All right, so I got another one of these cardigans. This is the same one that I wore from earlier, like the cream one. So this one's called the Sicily. I just wanted to get it in this charcoal gray color. And then I also got these waffled kind of like sweatpants. I'm also kind of thinking ahead for when I do give birth, like just to be in comfy clothes that I feel like are cute. So that's that. I got a lot of gray items. I did also want to share this dress because it's kind of like a tennis dress. It's a v-neck. I got it in a size small, but I don't know for some reason. It's just like extremely, extremely tight. Like I can't even get it through my arms, like from the top. And I have this dress in blue in an extra small and it was pretty tight. So that's why I wanted to go up to a small, but I almost feel like this is even smaller for some reason. Anyway, it is such a cute dress on. It's not, you know, none of this is, you know, maternity pregnancy stuff, but it's just such a cute dress on with like sneakers and a hat. Whether you're going to play tennis or not, again, it's one of those things like keeps you away from wearing your athleisure and wearing something else, but still athleisure. All right, next up, I got this charcoal long sleeve v-neck just for like the colder months. I just like how kind of roomy it is, but it's also very like dressy at the same time. And I got these pants that kind of match it. They're like a, what is this? Cargo. And it's like this knit. I feel like it could be both for at home, a very cozy, but very chic outfit for at home. But I could also add heels to it and just like accessorize and go out in it and just feel again like extremely extremely chic like i just love that i could wear this both ways and then here's a close-up it's just really nice really well made i love it all right and then i just got this really soft gray t-shirt from aritzia as well it's just like a little cap sleeve it's super soft i love the color and i just got it to go with the other two gray pants as well all right moving on to some shop bop items so i just got this t-shirt it's by cotton citizen i just wanted a more cropped boxy t-shirt and so this is what i got i got a size extra small and then i got the long sleeve version of the cropped t-shirt and also in an extra small all right, next up, I got this dress from Shopbop. I forget the brand. I really love this color and I love like the halter neckline. It is a little bit thin 
for the price i feel like this is over 200 dollars, and it's just so thin it does have pockets though which is nice it's a backless dress um i'm just lazy to take off my bra and i feel like i might need to hem it just like that much um so i don't know if it's worth it i may return it just because i'm spending extra money to hem it i'm already feeling like it's a little bit thin but I feel like it's such a cute dress like for vacation for this summer summer's ending but for next summer too um i really love the colors so i don't know we'll see i did get um some sunglasses that i want to get into uh right now so let's see all right so these pair or this pair of sunnies are from shopbop as well they're kate and oliver people's collab so this is what they look like I got them because I don't have anything like this in my closet or in my sunglass closet, I guess. I got the silver version. I'm just, I don't know, I liked it and then I'm like, I don't know, do I like it? I feel like it's cute like that. You guys let me know, what do you think? So that's that. All right, next up, when I saw these online, I was like, I have to try them. I really like the shape of them. I feel like I don't have anything like this in my like sunglass closet as well so i got the two colors just to see which color i liked better don't love this one that much color wise but i do love the shape i definitely like this color better i think it's just more contrast that one kind of just blends in with my skin tone a bit too much but yes i do like these a lot so I may end up keeping these. Okay, last pair of sunglasses are from Bottega. I like these on Morgan Stewart a lot. I just don't know if I need them. They are quite large. They are different. And they're these. So this is what it looks like. This is them up close. I don't know. They may be a bit much. What do you guys think? I think these are probably going back all right next up is by the brand morton mac they are an australian brand so i have this dress in white and i absolutely love it it's so frilly and i feel like this just never goes out of style i tried to find something online that compares and there just wasn't any i did not steam this so when you do steam it it is definitely more fluffy so i feel like i'm not doing this dress justice but they have so many colors so many prints they actually gifted me this one and i just really love it so very very cute i love the neckline the quality is really good love the tie detail the back part is also just really cute as well all right so this is another piece that morton max sent me again i felt like this was perfect for like they're going belly. I love the billow sleeves. They're just so voluminous. The thing with Morton Mac is they don't have extra smalls or, you know, most sizes. I think it's just small, medium, large. So I did get a small in both, I think, for this dress so that it doesn't fully just, like, eat me. Um, I may have to just hem it a little bit just to kind of, like, I don't know, make it look a little more cohesive with my height. I love the dainty print on this. And their stuff is really great quality as well. All right, next up, let's get into the Cezanne items. So I put back on my anthropology shorts. This flannel is from Cezanne. I sized up, I think I got either a small or a medium. I'll put the sizes down in the description, but I just love the color of it. It was very Ralph Lauren, but that's what it reminded me of. And of course, pairing it with my hat, I feel like this with sneakers is just a cute, easy thing to throw on. School drop off or whatever, you know, fall transition. So I love that. All right, next up, I got this cardigan from Cezanne as well. I have so many versions of this cardigan. I love it because it is like a little bit fuzzy. I don't know if you guys can tell, like kind of like mohair, but not all the hair is growing out, but it does give that effect and i really love these cardigans i have like maybe eight of these or something for these ones specifically i size down they are more on the wide side so i get an extra extra small and this is like what the extra extra small looks like on me i just like my cardigans a little more fitted and even this in an extra extra small is a little more loose but 
I like that I can just like tuck it in to these shorts or whatever, or can just throw it over my shoulders and tie it with a dress. But yes, I love this one. All right, and then I got this sleeveless sweater, I guess is what you'd call it. They had other colors, but I just really loved this one specifically. This with like vintage colored denim for the fall or this with like trousers would be so cute. You could even use like a collared shirt inside of it. And I got an extra, extra small and this one. All right, last but not least from Cezanne, I got this, what do you call it? Polo collared <laughs> button down sweater. It has a little pocket here. Um, obviously you can button it all the way up, all the way down as much as you want. Kind of like it kind of half only buttoned here with whatever bottoms you want. Again, this will look great with you know, jeans, trousers. I love this like casual yet, I don't know, chic type of sweater look. I saw something like this on Reformation, I think, but I really like this one from Cezanne. And this one I did get an extra, extra small in as well. 